Hey guys, it's that time again. Time to do our monthly testing video where we test fire alarms, emergency lights, and emergency generator. This is going to be our March test. I think for this time, I'm going to set it off in the generator building because I don't think I've done the generator building for a while. I do this building all the time, obviously, since that's where most of the fire alarm system is located. And like one of the later months in 2022, towards the end of 2022, I did that new shed out back over that way. Uh, this time, though, I'm going to do the generator building. So I'm going to start off with the fire alarm. I'm going to set it off in there. We'll do our walk around where we check to make sure that the fire door has closed and make sure that all the horns and strobes are horning and strobing. Yeah. Actually, let me switch the camera around too, because right now it is set to 4K 30 frames per second. So we're going to change it to 1080p 60. There we go, 1080p 60. The reason I don't do 4K 60 is it doesn't let you jump in between lenses at 4K 60, whereas it does at 1080 for whatever reason. Um, didn't think that through. I need something to actually set the smoky pokey or the heaty heat detector with. Let's do real smoke actually. Because why not? Which one's the smoke? That one. Leave that right on top of the generator and the heat lamp so it will explode. Just kidding. Okay, I just got my text message and my email. I have a video coming out on that device. Trying to get the strobes to flash on camera. There we go. Strobes are really difficult to pick up on camera. There, I got a couple strobe blinks. Okay, both our outdoor strobes are good. I've never actually gone around the building while the fire alarms are going off. It's actually definitely loudest at the back side. Makes sense, that's kind of the way it's shooting across. Definitely strobing. Strobing and horn. Main area horn strobe is good. Bathroom door shut, didn't latch. It should, should be latching, but it doesn't seem to. This door handle is so incredibly stiff. Oh, that kind of did. Bathroom strobe is good. Storage room strobe is good.
smoke, photoelectric smoke detector in the generator building. I'll give it a little bit more time to sit there because I, I did use real smoke. So in the meantime, I will set off our CO detector. I should get some real CO spray and do it someday. I've been too cheap for some reason. Our CO monitor module, it's a dual monitor module, it also monitors the tower and the other shed, but it is active and the strobe, CO strobe NAC circuit is active. So our carbon monoxide strobe in that room is active, or up there is active. Battery jumper was in my pocket, apparently. Guess that came from work. This guy in here is also working as it should. Bathroom, all good. Okay, I'm going to go for a system reset. That's the drill, not that one. Okay, now let's do our emergency lighting. That, that circuit does all of the emergency lighting at the back, that one there, and the washroom. This one here does all the emergency lighting at the front, and this does the generator building and that other shed. That exit sign is good. This emergency light up here is good, good, good. This emergency light back here is good. Bathroom emergency light is good. Fire door should hold open now that the fire alarm is reset. This emergency light in here is good, as well as our emergency light up there is good. As far as outside here. Our outdoor emergency light is really yellow at this point in its life, but nothing you can do. That's just how those ones go. What's going on up there, Ayla? Generator emergency light is good. I should take that before I forget about it.
There, I'll forget about it there instead of forgetting about it in the generator room. Guys, all good? Okay, that's all this emergency light good. Just about forgot. Put this guy away here. And then where is the key? Okay couple other emergency lights to do and then we'll move on to the generator there is our pointless exit sign combo in here it really doesn't need to be in here but it's here good 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 And there's one in the house. What's going on there, Ayla? Good, good, good. Okay, bye, Ella. Does that need to be locked? I don't know. I don't know, man. Probably doesn't. Right, this thing. I actually haven't, I haven't started this thing in way too long. I keep meaning to start it. Usually I start every Thursday. Why Thursday? I have no idea. Just seems to be how it is. Don't know why it ended up being Thursday, but Thursday seemed to be the day. Couldn't be Monday, because Monday is too soon in the week. It couldn't be... Saturday since I got not usually around couldn't be Sunday because that's my relax day and do other crap nothing really wrong with Tuesday um upload a video on Wednesday that's not an excuse at all so it really could be on that day too and Friday that's like well that's Friday today Friday's just too... I'm too tired on Friday. Friday has me falling asleep at like 8 o'clock. Joke on fuel on... I think I'm burning my hair on that light bulb, actually. That's on... It's just, 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 just a start. Come on.
See, that was noticeably harder to start because it's probably been three weeks since I started. You wouldn't think it makes a difference, but unless I'm crazy, starting it once a week makes it start a lot easier than starting it once every two or three weeks. I don't know why. Um, a lot of you guys asked about this bulb up here, this red bulb. It's just an indicator to show when it's running. Um, I installed that like a month ago. I got a video coming out on it, I think, in April at some point. Uh, I could do a load transfer. Why not? <coughs> ah, COVID. What the hell? Where's my tripod? Oh, I don't need a tripod, whatever. Wow. Do I have some... That was a heavy inrush. Hot water tank must be on. Oh, yeah. Hot water tank's on for sure. I don't know if, if you guys... For any of you guys that have heard my load transfer before, usually the generator barely flinches. Like it's, the generator can handle the inrush current no problem. But when I when I switched over to generator that time, um, the generator really went mm. That's because the hot water tank is heating. Like watch if I turn the hot water tank on. I'm sure you guys, Okay, so the generator is running hard right now because it's keeping the whole, it's heating the hot water. Oh yeah, she's running hard. Usually it gets around 2700, so the RPM is higher. And look at that, almost 4000 volt amp. Yeah, she's running hard. Watch if I turn it off. Turn it off, it probably drops down to 2700 RPM. Oh yeah, only 800 VA. And the RPM, 2700. Yeah, wa watch this load spike. What, the lights handle it well though. Like, okay, some of those LEDs do. Okay, I'll stop freaking with it. It handles it, but it, that was certainly, when I transferred load over, when I transferred the load, I certainly heard it rev up like a lot more aggressively than it usually does. So that explains it. We threw a lot more load on it, half. That's almost 400, 4,000 VA. Yeah, that's pretty significant. All right, it had a little short exercise. I'll transfer load back over. Now the hot water tank can come on and run on utility power. If the power was truly out, I'll usually switch off the hot water tank to reserve fuel. I mean, you guys seen the generator can do it. So if I really need a hot water, sure, I'll run it on the generator. The generator can handle it for sure, but there's no sense of wasting gas for hot water. The hot water will stay hot in there for a couple days anyways. Let the fuel out of the line, then we'll shut her down.
Ah, uh, so quiet. I need to get better louver set up. I want these, I want some big ones that are either electrically actuated or like you gotta turn a big old handle. If you saw that school fire alarm testing video I did like way out in the middle of nowhere, it's like a long video, crazy drive out there. The the manual generator set up at that school is kind of how, kind of the type of louvers I want on mine where there's a big handle you gotta move around sort of thing. All marked down. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, put those down in the comment section down below. And uh, if you're interested, feel free to check out my Instagram account at Pickle700 for bonus content, content posted earlier, that sort of thing. And if you do enjoy my YouTube channel and enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.